Hi guys, I'm just deconstructing the smoke-free environments and regulated products vaping amendment bill. I'm not a lawyer. I advise you to get the advice of a lawyer. Uh, if you want any more uh, information about the detail in the Act. So this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about and you know expressing my deep disappointment that the amendment is taking the opportunity to clarify and uh, make it very, very clear that uh, SNUS products, so tobacco oral pouches that you just put in your mouth, um, and presumably, although it is not clear, these products which are made with cellulose fiber, not tobacco, but have nicotine in them, I believe these will also be banned. And there are many other oral tobacco products that the Act bans. For example, these toothpicks, you know, uh, that are, have nicotine in them, you stick it in your mouth. So these products are greatly risk reduced. The original Smoke Free Environments Act was about reducing harm. This amendment radically changes that the intent of the Smoke Free Environments Act. It is about the eradication completely, eventually, which could just be by 2025 or it could take another 20, 30 years, uh, but to get rid of all nicotine and tobacco products from New Zealand. So in the Act, it says uh, a person must not import for sale, sell, pack or distribute any regulated product labelled or otherwise described as suitable for chewing or for any other oral use. Uh, now, people did think that the SNUS was banned in New Zealand. We thought that for you know a couple of decades, we thought that. But actually, the original Act was not very clear um, about this because it wasn't chewed. This is not intended for chewing and was left out. Actually, it was a grey area. This amendment absolutely clears that up. This will be banned. You will be able to import for your own use, but you'll be taxed to death on that. I'm very disappointed. Um, these products are very um, useful for people who are switching from smoking both to vaping, but many people use a range of products together to help them get through, and they are absolutely risk-reduced, um, much safer than continuing to smoke. So this is... This amendment is not uh, only about reducing harm, it is about prohibition. And I'm very concerned for uh, the 5% who will be left at the end of, you know, we we'll get to 2025, when we get to 5%, those people, nobody cares about them and that's why I'm doing this. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me and I'll attempt to answer them for you. Uh, please, please don't think this was a win. It's not. Okay, kia ora koutou.